Big Bend National Park and the Guadalupe Mountains National Park are two places I really enjoy visiting, and they are definitely my favorite places in Texas. And they are two places that I think of pretty often. You can ask my wife. I'm definitely not an expert on either park. My experience of them is mostly of summoning different peaks and high points, and not as much with camping or any of the more tourist stuff. However, since July of 2015, I have made a total of 11 trips to the Guadalupe Mountains and 18 trips to Big Bend. And some of those trips out west were combinations where I went to both parks. I have no idea where the idea for this video came from, but I wanted to do a little comparison of both parks and give my opinion of which one is better. I did a few searches to see if anyone had done a video comparing the two and I couldn't find anything, so I thought, why not? I can't possibly go through every aspect of either park, but I wanted to talk about several of the key features and activities of both parks and which one wins in each category. I'm going to try to show a picture or video clip that relates to what I'm talking about as I'm discussing it. However, I may not have something that's relative to each topic, so I'll just show some scenery from each park then. Talking about hiking first, at Big Bend there are 150 miles of trails and the Guadalupe Mountains has 80 miles of trails. And these stats are from the NPS websites. So there are definitely more trails at Big Bend and I'd say more of a variety on those trails too. You know, between hiking in the High Chisos and the low deserts and even into a trail like Santa Elena Canyon, which I've never done. I think you can get more variety at Big Bend. In terms of off-trail hiking, I would also give the edge to Big Bend, um, just because of the variety of terrain that you can cross over, um, more unique rock formations, low desert hiking, high chisos hiking, the vegetation. I'd say the variety at Big Bend would give Big Bend the edge there too when it comes to off-trail hiking. In comparing the two parks for climbing, Big Bend would win hands down. Just for the amount of climbing you can do there, uh, from smaller rock formations and little peaks to some tough mountains that require technical gear such as the Mueller peaks, Big Bend uh, wins easily in this category, no question about that. I don't think there are any summits at the Guadalupe Mountains that would require technical climbing or even really using your hands at all. So if you're someone who doesn't really want to get out of the car or can't get out of the car too easily or too far away from it, which park would have the better views? Which park has better views from the roads? Well, Big Bend would win easily in this category. You can get a lot of pretty amazing views there without having to leave your car. You can get some pretty amazing views at the Guadalupe Mountains too in this way, but not quite as many as at Big Bend, and definitely not the variety that you can see at Big Bend. There are just a lot more roads at Big Bend and just a lot more spectacular views from those roads, so Big Bend would definitely have the edge in this category. Going in a different direction here just a little, I want to ask the question, what is the worst thing about each park? For Big Bend, it's actually outside of the park, but the worst aspect of going to Big Bend is the Border Patrol checkpoints um, about 30 miles north of the park. There's actually two of them. I'd have to start a whole different YouTube channel to get into this, but definitely in my mind, that is the worst part about going to Big Bend. If you go to the Guadalupe Mountains from El Paso, you'll have to go through a border patrol checkpoint too. But if you're coming from anywhere east or north, you don't have to deal with that. The worst thing about the Guadalupe Mountains National Park is the gating off of McKittrick Canyon. McKittrick Canyon, in my mind, should you know, be open and accessible all the time. If you want to drive up and start hiking at 5 in the morning and you know get done at 
10 o'clock at night, you should have every right to do that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know why they get it off. Um, maybe just for safety reasons. Um, but that's definitely the worst aspect of the Guadalupe Mountains. That that entrance should remain open all the time for hikers and anyone else that wants to access it and you know check out the views. So which park has better views from the trails and from off the trails? First of all, for off trail views, Big Bend would win just because you can get to so many different places and see the park from so many different angles. And not only from different peaks, but also from so many points throughout the desert. And this goes along with there just being more of a variety in the terrain at Big Bend and it being a much larger park as well. In comparing the views from the trails, I would actually give the advantage to the Guadalupe Mountains. One of the main reasons why is that I'm just partial to being able to see far away on the horizon, especially far away mountains. And I think the trails at the Guadalupe Mountains provide this at least a little bit more than Big Bend. Just being able to see the Franklin Mountains in El Paso or the Oregon Mountains in southern New Mexico, and especially Sierra Blanca Peak, is just you know really special and I think you just get an overall bigger grander view from the trails at the Guadalupe Mountains especially and obviously Guadalupe Peak. Also the views from the McKittrick Canyon Trail are really impressive so that just bumps the Guadalupe Mountains up a little bit more and also the view of the Guadalupe Mountains the view of the west side of the range is just an amazing and very impressive view. Although I haven't done it, there is a short trail called the Salt Basin Dunes Trail, which provides views of the range from the west. These pictures here are just from the highway. Talking about camping in the parks here next, Big Bend is a much bigger park, so there are definitely a lot more campsites there. Um, there are many roadside campsites, backcountry campsites, and you can also zone camp there pretty much anywhere, just following the established rules. At the Guadalupe Mountains, um, there is no zone camping there, and there aren't that many backcountry sites. But of course it is a much smaller park too. But both parks tend to fill up during busy times. I've camped at Big Bend a few times and only once at the Guadalupe Mountains. So my experience is pretty limited here. However, if you would be looking to get a backcountry site, I would think you'd have a better chance at the Guadalupe Mountains, especially some of the more remote ones. And if you come at not so busy times, you should be fine getting a site at either park. So mainly due to the number of sites at Big Bend, I would rate it a little higher in terms of camping than the Guadalupe Mountains, but not by much. Although I really haven't gone to the parks just to sightsee or view exhibits or learn more of the history and so forth, I would say Big Bend has a little more to offer in this category. Again, Big Bend is a much bigger park, so there just seems to be a little bit more in this area there. There are more exhibits and informative signs at Big Bend. There are more visitor centers there, although I think two of them are closed in the summer. And there are more historical buildings and points of interest. While the Guadalupe Mountains has its share of these things, Big Bend has more of them, so I would rate it higher in this category. In the category of stargazing and night skies, I would say that Big Bend has a little bit of an edge. Both parks definitely have amazing night skies. I know at least coming down Guadalupe Peak, you can see lights from all the oil and gas drilling going on further east. So this may affect the night skies a little bit there, especially if it is in your field of vision. So for that reason, I would say that Big Bend has the edge when it comes to stargazing and night skies. Just from my experience, Big Bend is better when it comes to seeing wildlife. It's hard to say because maybe I've just been in the right places at the right times there. 
But a big band, I've seen coyotes, a herd of javelina, a bear cub, a raccoon, and a few other species. I have seen a Barbary sheep there too, but I don't count that because it's an imported species. As far as I can remember, at the Guadalupe Mountains, I've seen a rattlesnake, uh, many deer, and a javelina. And that's pretty much it as far as anything notable. So in the category of seeing wildlife, I would say Big Bend is a little bit better. So when it comes to getting away from people, which park would be better? First of all, if you stick to hiking on the more popular trails at either park, you will almost always see other people and maybe even lots of people. Some of the lesser used trails at both parks give you a pretty good chance of seeing nobody else. And if you venture off the trails, you have an extremely small chance of running into someone or even seeing someone else from a distance. In all the off-trail hiking I've done, I have never seen anyone else while off the trail. It is a little difficult to say which park would be better, but I think the Guadalupe Mountains would be. I've seen very few people on the less popular trails there, and it does seem like these trails are very lightly used. Since you have to carry all your water to the backcountry campsites there, it does make it less likely that anyone would be camping out there or hiking out there for more than a few days. So due to its size, lack of roads, lack of water availability, I would say you have a better chance of seeing very few people to no one at the Guadalupe Mountains overall. But if you go off trail in some of the more remote sections of Big Bend, you would probably see no one either. At the Guadalupe Mountains, you're at a higher elevation overall than you are at Big Bend. Guadalupe Peak, the Texas State High Point, is almost a thousand feet higher than Emory Peak, the tallest at Big Bend. So higher up in the Guadalupe Mountains, you feel like you're further north than you really are. There are a few pockets of pine forest at Big Bend, and deciduous forest too, but not as much as at the Guadalupe Mountains. So if you're looking to see more and bigger trees, get a taste of further north, and more of a mountain feel, then the Guadalupe Mountains would be the place to go. Big Bend is as much about the desert as it is the mountains, and the beauty of the desert there is really amazing. If you're looking to experience the desert more, then Big Bend would be your destination. I could go into much greater detail about everything I've discussed, and there are so many other aspects of both parks to add to this discussion too, but I think this is good for now. Well, right now I'm about four months removed from my last trip to either park. And I know part of the reason for doing this video is just to feel the urge to experience both parks in any way possible. Also, my hope is that if you haven't been to either park, this video will motivate you to go and see either or both of the parks for yourself. But, if you could only pick one park to visit, which one should it be? Well, the answer is Big Bend. It's simply a more beautiful place with more hiking, more climbing, more to experience there than the Guadalupe Mountains. But, I would say, not much more. You really can't go wrong with either park. Both are amazing, beautiful places. And I highly recommend making the time to visit one or both of them as soon as possible. Take care.